Average. Give me a rating out of 10. 10 out of 10. Wait a minute. I think we might have skipped a little bit. Okay, so after she came in and we did the oral hygiene index last time, I knew exactly which teeth needed to be cleaned and which surfaces of the teeth needed to be cleaned. The main teeth in Nirali's case were the lingual surfaces of her mandibular central incisors. So the next lesson I got free, I picked up a practice model and started practicing before I worked on Nirali in real life. The purpose of this was to master my technique and I asked for some advice from my teacher so I knew exactly what needed to be done in the next appointment and we didn't waste any time. I've um, already done a little bit as you can see. Here's my sickle scaler. So I'm just using this right now to practice removing calculus of these plastic teeth. So when the real patient comes in I'm going to be ready and we're going to do an amazing job. Let's go. And then the day arrived. Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the Dentist Saw channel. My name is Suichi Dentist and today we are back for part two of our tooth cleaning video. So in the last episode, if you haven't seen it, click on it right over there. In the last episode, our patient Nilu the Medic from YouTube, you can check her link out in the description, came in and we gave her an oral hygiene index. Now today we are going to be doing the actual clean up. So let me get changed and we can go treat the patient. So we're in our dental clinic. Come along, come along. Oh. Welcome to part two of our dental cleaning. I'm with Nirali once again. Thank you so much for coming in by the way. I just gave my gloves on and today we are going to be doing the cleaning because we've already done the oral hygiene and things. So let's get to it. So I collected my complex and sickle scalar and informed the patient on the procedure I was going to do today. So once again we've got our complex as you know by now in all the four steps. We've got our explorer and then we got our dental mirror. And this is a sickle scaler. I asked the patient to apply Vaseline on her lips to prevent the staining from Rondell's blue. And it's what I'm going to be using to stain the teeth. This will just reveal the debris for me. And it'll just make it so much easier to clean the calculus of the teeth. So I used my forceps to grab a piece and move it all around the teeth, ensuring that I cover all the surfaces of all the teeth in her mouth. I asked the patient to spit out and then I used my dental mirror to check the surfaces of the teeth to find out which places exactly need cleaning. Do you see the pink between the two, the lateral incisor and central incisor? That pink shade color means that the debris there that we need to remove. So that's basically what I'm looking for in all the teeth. You can see some here on the molars. And I began the scaling of her teeth. Now one thing I recommend at this step is to use a gauze so you can pull back the lip therefore it's not as slippy. There are a few things to take note of at this stage. The sickle scaler is only used for supra gingiva calculus which is above the gingiva. So if the calculus is deeper inside the gingiva we need to consider using a different instrument. Yeah, I think we might be done with that too. Next tooth. The grasp used for the sickle scaler is called a pen grasp. This is when the thumb, the index finger and the middle finger are used to hold the instrument and the ring finger is used as a fulcrum about which the movement of the scaler occurs. The whole purpose of this motion and position of the hand is to prevent carpal tunnel syndrome and to prevent pain in our hand and arm. The sickle scaler is held parallel to the long axis of the tooth. The tip third of the scaler's cutting edge is placed on the tooth. Ooh, that was a good one. Did you mm, yeah, I got that. The instrument is tilted towards the tooth at about 70 to 80 degree angle and we apply lateral pressure to activate the scaler with vertical, diagonal and horizontal pulling strokes which are in a smooth motion. Now for best control we use 2-3 to three millimeter strokes in short continuous strokes across the surface of the tooth. First we do the side facing the dentist and then the surface facing away from the dentist. So we divide the teeth into two sections here. Can you see as I'm scaling the tooth, as I'm going upwards on the tooth, 
calculus just starts to decode on the sickle scale. It's just coming up so smooth. I'm doing the doctor side of the teeth. Now I'm going to be doing the patient side or the side facing away from me. You can see that pink just coming up here. So. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh yeah, that was... Mm -hmm. There we go. A lot of the calculus that I'd built up in the patient's teeth was between the teeth. So for this, we needed to use an interproximal scalar for the anterior teeth. Okay. Uh, has this come interproximal uh, superscalar? So right now I'm getting an interproximal sickle scalar just for between the teeth just to make sure it's extra smooth and clean. So I've got gauze and I've got my interdental scalar. Let's go. So this is the interdental scalar, it looks like this. It's literally just used for going between the teeth. You can really see like between the teeth. There's a calculus we couldn't remove with the with the sickle scalar is coming out now. See that? Can you see what's up? Uh, there you go. This is the importance of having the interdental scalar not just on the facial and the lingual surface but between the teeth as well. Calculus can build up anyway. As you can see, there is a reason these instruments are so specific. It helped to clean out the calculus from the spaces between the teeth so much better and made a huge difference. Oh, wow. He was like nerds to you, fam. <laughs> we're looking at tooth there. We're like, yay. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that is huge. You can see it, yeah? Mm -hmm. There you go. You just got a huge piece. There you go. The last stage of cleaning was to polish the teeth using polishing paste and a brush on the slow hand piece. Man, so right now I'm getting the brush, I'm getting the paste. We're going to polish them teeth. Cleaning done, absolutely shiny. Well, that's what the patient thinks at the end. So right here, it's a slow hand piece with a brush on it. And we got some polishing paste. Let's go polish some teeth. Um, doctor, I'll just finish polishing and I'm done. My teacher started shouting at me because I went overtime. <laughs> that was the end of cleaning. I asked the patient to rinse her mouth, so let's see the final product. See, the final product is much less calculus all around, much less debris. Good job. So, how do your teeth feel, man? Yeah? A lot better when I run my tongue So, do they feel a lot cleaner? Mm. How do you think I did today? Good. Give me a rating out of 10. 10 out of 10. 2 out of 10. I'm great. <laughs> Thank you, so I really appreciate that. No worries. thank you so much for coming in today. Mm -hmm. Thank you everybody so much for coming to this series and checking out this video. I hope that you learned something new in this video. I had a lot of fun cleaning Nirali's teeth and as you heard at the end, she was really happy with the treatment. So, if you are new to this channel and you haven't hit that subscribe button, I don't know what you're doing, man. It's dental side. Hit that subscribe button because you already know. We're gonna have some amazing videos coming up and you do not wanna miss out. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers this year. My name is Sujidin Sal and I'll see you guys in the next video.